Since the dawn of time, everyone has wondered what is more important. Is it length or is it girth when talking about a guy's banana? Well, in this video, I'm going to get into the tea and give you my verdict on whether I think a guy's girth or a guy's length is more valuable. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Stephen Brendan with another video. And yes, that's right. In this video, we will be doing another banana battle. Recently, I made a video on uncut versus cut bananas and I spoke about which one I prefer and you know, the pros and cons. But today we will be talking about a guy's girth and a guy's length. So just to quickly get into what I mean, Length obviously just means like how many centimeters, how many inches, how long is a guy's banana and girth is the thickness of it. Before we get into this debate, please remember to hit that subscribe button and press the bell button so you get alerted every time I upload a new YouTube video. Remember to leave this video a big thumbs up if you want to see the next part even sooner. My OnlyFans now has a new discount on so you can check me out over there and you can ask me all your top and bottoming questions and you can see all my cheeky content on it. I will link that in the description of this video and all my socials are at Stephen Brenland. If you have a banana that's got a really good length and a really good girth, then babe, you're doing fine. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. But if you're someone who has more length than girth or more girth than length, then there are some things you should know. So let's talk about length. Obviously guys with really long bananas are great, okay? The importance of length is high. If you have a good sized banana in length then that banana is going to hit the spots when bottoming because your god spot is located inside you and you've got all these pleasure points and pressure points and if a guy has a good amount of length on his banana that banana will be passing in and it will be hitting all those juicy spots and if the guy knows what he's doing then when the lengthy banana passes in and out he can go past all your comfort spots and he can really get you on your your toes. He can make you feel things that you haven't felt before and he can rearrange your guts. When a guy has got good length, it's great to ride him because if a guy has maybe under average or just around average size banana in length, then when you're riding him, it might slip out a lot or you might not be able to ride that well as a bottom. But if he's got a really long schlong, then when you're riding it, you can really go to town, okay? You can ride him to town, literally. And there are more benefits of a guy with a long and lengthy banana, such as the BJ potential. You, as a bottom, as a girl, as a guy, you can get practicing and improving your sloppy toppy skills. There is a lot of sloppy toppy potential. You can practice it going all the way back to your throat. You can get used to things. You can have fun. <laughs> if with a guy with an average or under average size banana, yeah, you can actually probably be a pro at giving sloppy toppy, but you can't challenge yourself enough and up your game. Whereas a guy who has a lengthy banana, you can really use him as a stepping stone to practice and get better and improve. I think it's important for a guy to have a good sized banana. If it's not that big, okay, he's not really gonna be hitting the spots. So the length, is an important asset. So let's speak about the girth. Okay, the girth. <laughs> I have bottomed for many types of bananas and some have had thicker girths than others. And when the girth is thick, it changes the whole game. It makes bottoming feel like what you would imagine bottoming to feel like. Some intense experience really tearing you apart. <laughs> and regarding girth, it's great as long as you can take it. If a guy has got too much girth, you might not be able to take it, especially if you are a beginner bottom. Good luck with that. But if he's got a good amount of girth and it's a thick banana, you're going to have a good time with it. So the actual hole is pretty much the most sensitive part. So when you feel someone stretching that apart, which a girthy banana will do, that is going to feel great. And unfortunately, you can't get that with every top because not every top has a good amount of girth. Some people just have really long bananas, but there's no girth. 
and when that happens it's not really the best and i'll get into that later but when a guy has got girth it stretches your walls apart and when your walls are stretched apart the further they're stretched the better especially because when you finish then your walls almost want to close and the further they're apart and they're trying to push back together as you're finishing that feels amazing and only guys with great girth can do that so we've got the fact that girth stretches the walls but we've also got the fact that when you're with a guy who's got girth you feel more full inside and that is a great feeling you want to feel that you want to feel satisfied you want to feel fulfilled a lot of the time when guys bottom they can end up bottoming again that night or just a couple of hours after because if there's not enough girth you don't feel as fulfilled and you don't feel as used you still feel like there's some energy there but when you get with a top who's got a lot of girth he stretches you far okay he stretches you so much that you just you're you're done after getting with a banana that's got some girth you're good to go and you will be satisfied for maybe the next couple of days along with that the thought of just a girthy banana is really and that can be said the same for a long banana. However, let's really get into the two. What is ultimately my verdict? I think it's important in bottoming for the top, or just in general for guys and girls, for the top to have at least an average size banana if you want to feel like some spots are going to get hit. But that being said, whether the banana is average size or above average, that is when girth takes the higher role of importance. So, say you've got a girthy banana and you've got no length. That's just, that's not really that good. But as long as you have the base of an average size banana, a little bit below, a little bit above, or a lot above, then girth is going to change the whole experience. Because if I or any of you get with a guy who's got a really long banana, but there's no girth, it does not feel what you would imagine it to feel like and it will be easier to take it once you get the initial process over and done with when you get with a skinny banana it can be fun but where it's not stretching the walls as much it could be better and that is why girth is a key player in this game so ultimately it's important for guys to have a good girth and a good length as long as they've got a good amount of length girth is going to be what separates them and what will help you remember some tops and what will help you forget some tops. Girth and length really rely on each other. They need each other. Okay guys, so that is my verdict. I think that girth and length are both key players. Let me know what is more important to you. You can comment down below and let's start a debate. Remember to leave this video a big thumbs up if you want to see the next part even sooner or the next banana battle and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.